Hello. So today we are going to see how to change the administrator console password and after changing the administrator console password, what are the other services which are impacted and how to change the passwords for them in order to make the things work. So now we will first log in into the Informatica administrator page. We'll click on the username and enter the credentials and click on login again. Now once we are in, we will go under the manage on the top right corner and select the option change password. Once you are in, then you will get a new page which denotes like the domain name, username and the password. Here there will be a text box where you will enter the current password and new password and confirm password will be your new password and once again you have to enter it for the confirmation. Once you click on update, you will your password will be resetted logging uh, out will ensure that you will be entering the new credentials and logging in so once you are in so now your administrator console password is resetted or changed but there's an issue uh, so once like the password is changed uh, those changes are not reflected back to the all the services where this particular Informatica administrator password is used. So let's see what are the services where this password needs to be changed. So after changing the password for administrator, you need to update the passwords for the following services that are related to the user administrator. After updating you, you should have like recycled the services or else like the updates will not take effect and uh, hence after updating the password for the services recycle the service individually so in the administrator console these are the services where the password needs to be changed the first is like integration service there's a procedure for all of this like uh, where you can reset this password for example for integration service you have to go into the integration service then associated repository and associated repository properties and then edit the password same for the data integration service, you have to go under the data integration service properties, model repository service properties and edit the password. So you have to perform these actions for all the services where this password needs to be changed. So the list of services are integration service, data integration service, analyst service, metadata manager service, web services hub, SAP BW service, Content management service, model repository where you are using to store the historical data configuration, then search service, email service, scheduler service. And for other services like EDC, DPM, only MRS will be used. So we will have to update the password of the MRS as well. Uh, so MRS, there will be MRS, normal MRS, uh, where your EDC data will be stored and the mod, uh, monitoring uh, MRS where like the historical or like the uh, all the uh, look all the like the jobs uh, details or like the app events will be stored and if you have schedules created in the domain with the administrator user each schedule password needs to be updated manually and apart from that there's one more service which is metadex service so that one will be also not accessible if you go and test the license or reload the service since the administrator password is changed you have to go into the metadex and change the password that too so that was it uh, we would love to hear from you uh, you can reach us out at support videos at informatica.com and our twitter handle which is infasupport Thank you.